Sultan has enabled her to find a work-life balance that eluded her in her corporate job. Please welcome to the stage, Sandra Van Loy Taylor. <laughs> and thank yous. And I'd like to thank my sponsor, Vix Milani and her team. Woohoo! And I'd also like to thank Mandy Smith and her team. Woohoo! Seriously, without the help, support and love of those, those teams and the people in it, I probably wouldn't be here tonight. Or today, this afternoon. I had some fantastic advice given to me recently. And that advice was, never feel nervous when you're amongst friends. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Jackie Beckett for that advice. So, life before Cambridge was very different for me. Anybody know this, this logo? Bacardi! Bacardi. Absolutely. I joined Bacardi on the 18th of April 1995, so that was 20 years in corporate life. This used to be my mode of transport, and if you can imagine travelling five hours a day just to get to work and back. I used to put my child into, into his childminder at 6.30 in the morning and pick him up at 6.30 that night. We were both doing 12 hour days. We were both exhausted, we were both time poor, and we didn't do the things that we should have done to enjoy our time together. Every winter, when it was dark mornings, Harry used to say to me, Mum, when are you going to give Bacardi up? <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> I was putting on weight, but I was being paid very well. That's when my consultant, Vix Malani, it's another little plug. Thanks, Han. said to me, have you ever thought about becoming a Cambridge Weight Plan consultant? And I said, no. It's not the sort of thing that you saw on LinkedIn or, or a job board, you know? I was like, how do you do that? So she took me through the plan. She took me through the training and I started to listen. It was becoming really interesting. Coming from a corporate background, I wanted to know more about Cambridge. So I started to do my research. And I wanted to know what their values were. And I very quickly learned that they're investors in people, which means they put some fantastic training into head office staff, which means we get the best result, we get the best support ever. Accredited to DSA, this business is starting to stack up and the Queen's Award for Enterprise and Innovation was just fantastic for me. It just meant sustainability, development, and innovation. For me, I was starting to change one corporate logo for another. I then wanted to know what support I was gonna get if I started to become a consultant. And that's when Vic showed me the, the consultant-only area. And I really could not believe the amount, the content that was on this portal, the amount of material that was at our fingertips on a daily basis. The support that we get from the head office is absolutely amazing. And I just have to tell you this quick story. About three weeks ago, I was sat with a new client and we very quickly worked out that I had to do a medical inquiry for her. So I did it while she was with me. So we carried on the consultation and towards the end, I thought I'll just take a little peek to see if it's back. And it was there. 35 minutes later, my medical inquiry was back. My client was able to start plan and go off a very happy person. That is amazing support. Babette, bless her. The amount of support that she gives us on a daily basis is amazing. I actually don't know when that woman sleeps. And to be fair, every 
every consultant in this room does an amazing job on a daily basis to uphold our, all our self-esteem. The knowledge that is given on Facebook on a daily basis to questions that are being asked is unique. You wouldn't even get the level of support that we give each other in corporate business. For me, that screams we before me. Then I want to know the cost. I want to know what this business was actually going to cost me. Because of course, there was going to be a binding contract. There was going to be a franchise agreement that I was going to have to pay thousands for. But there's no binding contract and there's no franchise agreement. In fact, you can start this business from 200 pound. That's amazing. So for the amount of material that's at your fingertips on a daily basis, and 200 pound, you've got your own business. So I said to Vix, I'm in, where do I sign? So how did I get started? Pretty much the same way as every consultant in, in this room. For the first year, I worked my Cambridge business alongside my corporate business, and I did evenings and weekends. I did what I had to do to make this business work. I decaled my car, and I did that myself. The pair of tweezers. Posters in local shops, and I advertised in magazines. I gave my clients a discount, but I told them they had to work for it, and I'll explain that a bit later, and they did. I get to Cambridge. I do love those boys. So now I take my son to school every day and I pick him up. And because I work from home now, we have a little puppy called Bo, who could fit in a smoothie box. He can't now, but we do love him. I work the hours that I want to work and I work with the people I want to work with. I work with amazing consultants every day. I operate under the umbrella of an amazing company who invest in excellent training, support and development of consultants. I've started my own downline. I've only got one at the moment, but I'm due another in December. And I haven't been on a train since May. <laughs> My sponsor Vic said to me, Sandra, whatever you do, find your first walking advert. And I did. Joanne Collins, bless her, walked into my life and she walked into my office. And we had some tears, mainly because she'd actually chosen the path that she wanted to take to lose her weight. And secondly, the thought of going on another Centre Parks holiday and not being able to join in with the activities of her two children just crushed her. To be honest, I didn't expect Joanne to last six weeks, not alone six months, and six and a half stone lighter. February this year, her cousin called her and said, uh, Joanne, I've just picked up this random magazine. Turn the page and you're in it. What's going on? So that, obviously, was all over Facebook, and the pride of that day was absolutely immense. So going from where Joanne was to where she is now, she's now running on a regular basis, doing regular charity runs. Tough Mudder. And more recently has raised £750 for cancer research through her running. And she's just one of many that I've managed to help. I'm really proud that Joanne is actually in the audience today, and I'd just love her to stand up so that you can share in her success. So my success. Back in October, I got my very first piece of glass, and I love it. So I won a regional award for business growth, and I did that mainly through the discount I gave to my clients. I told them I had to work for it, and one of the things I asked them to do was to check in when they came for their consultations, and blog. Blog their pounds that they lost, and blog the inches that they lost. 
and the cascade of conversation that created on social media was immense. I was reaching people that I couldn't ever reach. And my business was growing. Would I have changed anything? Of course. I wish that on the 18th of April 1995 that I joined Cambridge instead. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great afternoon.